Okay, so let's let's do this one. Is the Haber process for the industrial synthesis of ammonia spontaneous or non-spontaneous under standard conditions at 25 degrees Celsius? So they give us the temperature, 25 degrees Celsius, um, but we need to put that into Kelvin, right? Because um, remember our our, our equation is delta G equals delta H minus T delta S, right? And um, they give us delta H is negative 92.2 kilojoules. And they give us delta S is negative 199 joules per one Kelvin, right, or joules per Kelvin. So they gave it to us like this. I guess I should write it that way first. Joules per Kelvin, okay? So two things you gotta do. Notice this is joules, right, not kilojoules, okay? And this one is Kelvin, not degrees Celsius, okay? So how do we get from Celsius to, to Kelvin? 273, so what is this? Good job, guys. 298, okay. So what are we looking for? Oh, here, let's write down the reaction equation, too. So it's N2 gas plus 3H2 gas goes to 2NH3 gas. You didn't need that reaction equation to do this problem, but since they get to you, we might as well write them. Um, so we're looking for delta G. Um, delta H is already um, in kilojoules. Negative 92.2 kilojoules. Minus T is now in Kelvin, 298 Kelvin. Together, we got to convert either this one to joules or this one to kilojoules. Let's just do this one to kilojoules. So, hopefully, you can already see much smaller than entropy is usually much smaller than the enthalpy. Okay. So, cancel, 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 cancel. I guess we're actually looking, we're actually finding because we got standard states here. So let's do it. Um, 298 times negative 
necessarily get has to hit each other at the same time. And they're going to be making two little ammonia molecules. We'll talk more about that in organic chemistry. We'll talk about, you know, reaction mechanisms and stuff like that. So Okay, are there any other questions on this one? Okay, good.